Well, this really wasn't supposed to be chainsaw week. I had no plans on it at all. But it looks like it's going to turn out to be that way. Um, you know, sometimes you just got to do things that you got to do. So, let me give you a little show here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I'll try to bring that up in the video or in editing. I hit a rock with a chainsaw the other day. And I scalped these teeth. So I'm going to have to knock these things back really hard. Now I could do this with a Dremel, but the problem is those Dremel stones are so fragile. I would burn through whatever, I don't know, four of them, five of them, trying to get these things knocked back. Because I'm going to have to take a lot off of these teeth. I'll try to show you an angle here. I don't know if you'll see it or not. But at any rate, okay. I brought out, I broke out this steel chain sharpener chainsaw sharpener and uh, I've never used it before a guy gave it to me a friend of mine so I figured I might as well put it to work because I'm gonna have to knock this chain back by I don't know a good uh, pretty close to an eighth of an inch knock these teeth back and I figured this would be the easiest way to do it so I'm learning as I go here front row seat all right well how this seems to work which I'm figuring out on the fly now I called him and he gave me some pointers but basically how this goes is this almost works like a bar on your saw well not works like it but it's shaped like it you clamp it down you put your chain in there and then bottom dogs right in there bites it well, first, you set it in there, then you lay it back, which I will do here in a second. Tighten it down. Well, this, this dog comes up and catches right behind the tooth, and then you adjust it in, and then here is your stop adjustment. That would be right here. Try to get some light on right here. This thing looks pretty old. It looks pretty heavy duty. Um, almost positive this is going to weigh in a little more than oh and then there's your angle I'm going to run with it at 30 because that's what I've been that's what I've cut these in it before with laid them up at 30 or as close to 30 as possible I'm not it doesn't have to be perfect all right well enough bullshitting I'll uh, see if I can get this to work get you clued in here Up we go. That needs to get opened. Get the chain in there. So yes, she rides. Okay. Maybe right there. Oops. Back of tooth. Let me tighten that down some so she holds. This is your adjustment to push it forward or back. She stays there. I think that looks about good. I've already done a little presets on this. Let me get my up close glasses. If I can find them. Oh, yeah, they're hanging on my shirt. Make sure that looks right. I'm going to guesstimate, okay, I think that looks good, oops, no you don't, that locking machine is tight, I won't lock that down yet, that adjustment for forward and back, until I knock this in first, nor will I set that depth adjustment until I see how deep I need to go, because I'm hitting on top of where I'm going to, the meat right here, where I'm going to cut off. Plug it in. Alright. 
really get. And they were stuck. Set this depth adjustment down. Let me bring you with me here. Right. Don't know if I can do this with one hand or not. I'm going to tighten this lock nut on this. That stem right in there. So she touches. I'm not trying to take it too deep, and if you think that's ugly, well, I think that looks nice. Mood lighting, mood lighting. Here we go. Yeah, I'm sure that was really loud. Sorry. So what I'll do now is set this locking nut down. So we don't get much variance here. I'm gonna say yeah. Rocking the boat. You might be able to see what I'm seeing. If I don't knock you all over the place here. That depth looks all right.
see it from the back side. Check out the back side on that. Yeah, well, well. Okay, now I changed the angle on this to set up for the other side. Uh, by the way it looks, that's what I'm looking the way you do it. See, it's 30, I was 30 over here now, and I'm 30 this direction. To change this so the wheel comes down in. No, not that tooth. Here, back that up. There. Yeah, that tooth. Like that, right there. We'll see how this goes. Here. I need studio technicians. Move the lights. Check the mic. That's a problem too. The sound quality is probably going to be really trashy on this. My external mic jack fell out of the back of this camera. fell into the back of this camera, so I'm going to have to oh, take that apart and go fishing for it and see if I can find it and attach it to the outside of the housing again. Well, did I do that one already? Oh, this looks kind of shiny. There are you. Ah. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to show you yet on this because the grain this film is well the picture is so grainy I don't know if you'll be able to see it probably not yeah that's really grainy but there's still some of that chamfer on there from where the stone ground off the tip of that it's still angled down instead of being Instead of coming out straight like this, it's got a little bit of a curve to it, and that's just going to keep the wood from being, keep it from scooping the wood out. In other words, I'm going to have to go around and hit it again. But I'm not going to take you on that ride. It's boring and uh, another probably 20 minutes doing this. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, that's sort of the way you use a steel chainsaw sharpener. Uh, the best way I knew how. I'm still practicing like I said. But if it maybe give you any pointers or gave you an idea so you're not jumping in it cold. Alright, thanks for watching.